Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ignosa Sarazin Isaac. My friends call me Android. You can hit me up on Instagram to get so much more content that I usually don't have the time to post on YouTube or any other social media platform. Today I want to talk about the Elon Musk painting that I recently completed. This painting took me some weeks to do and this is not the kind of painting I usually make where I copy a reference picture but this particular painting I used very original elements so let me give you some background on how this painting came about first of all I struggled with who or what to paint but after a while of deliberating I decided to paint Elon Musk because I'm a good fan of Elon Musk so I just went on Google and found just any random okay Elon Musk picture but I already knew that I wasn't going to make it like a conventional oil painting where I'm painting the skin tone with the right colors so I wanted it to be very creative and very colorful now this painting is an original piece by me so if you want print of it, you can get it by sending me an email or reaching me out on social media. Another beautiful thing about this painting is it's my third painting of this size and this type. Because this one is done on a 24 by 34 inch textured stretch canvas. And I've completed the other completed one other one and then this one I completed first before the other two the person in Musk is someone I truly admire and respect that's why I was even fast in doing it because usually I'm fast at doing something I'm passionate about so I wanted to do a painting where it explained the fact that colors do not make the resemblance of a portrait but is the values so I started researching on how to make colorful paintings that are not necessarily the skin tone but just a mixture of different colors but you still get the resemblance so the idea is to keep the values intact value simply means the brightness and darkness now that is why your pencil drawing still looks beautiful, still looks realistic, still looks like the resemblance is on point because the values are right, even though there is no color. So I went on YouTube and searched for some other artists. I found Voca, I found some other artists making colorful paintings and they were all amazing. But I didn't want to go too far and complicate things with myself. So I'm really happy with the result I got. Another thing I learned during the course of this painting is that all colors are not of the same value. That is, some colors look like they are of the same value, but they are not. So yellow, for example, is darker and... Uh, than white and brown is probably darker than red and you know what I'm trying to say so definitely everybody knows that black is darker than white but some colors can be confusing so you may see a yellow and a green and you don't know which is darker so one way to do that is to switch from colored to black and white that is grayscale like you can if your phone has an option to snap picture in grayscale just raise the phone up and point it to the picture then you'll be able to tell if your values are on point and then so when I got the reference picture from online I converted it into some colorful something did some graphic design and stuff to do that but there were a lot of colors in my picture 
but I found out that when painting, some of those colors could not come out as beautiful as they are on the phone, on the reference picture. So for example, the color purple, when I mixed my color purple and tried to paint it, it wasn't as vibrant, it was so muddy and dull, so I had to clean it off. Then I tried using yellow, it was too bright, I had to clean it, so I was getting really frustrated with the colors, so I just decided to stick with red and blue and not add so much more colors. Okay, I added green later because green came out vibrant and beautiful. So yeah, I made a lot of mistakes during this painting, but I was glad I was able to fix them. So people ask, do I make mistakes during painting? The answer is yes, I do. I actually do make a lot of mistakes. Then another thing I wanted to be very intentional about was the background. I really wanted the background that looks beautiful. So I wanted to invest a lot of details. I wanted a background that has meaning, a background that has depth to it. Even in reality, in real life, in your day-to-day -day life, if you take a selfie in your dark, you know, room, or in a scattered room, or in uh, with a bushy background, it's going to be an ugly, not so beautiful selfie. As opposed to if you take a selfie in maybe a beautiful restaurant, you have a beautiful painting. I'm just trying to say a good background makes a good painting. You can see that in a lot of... Um, paintings done by you know the Mona Lisa painting by Leonardo da Vinci had a beautiful landscape background um, Peter Paul Rubin which to me is the master of paintings like it's just the greatest he has beautiful backgrounds too and uh, you can see them in these pictures now in the painting, I used a fast drying oil. That was the first time I was using a fast drying painting medium because basically, the painting medium is a liquid you use to mix your paint because paints come very thick. So, you need to lift to so mix it to make it softer. But I enjoyed using the fast drying medium because it made the work glossy, it made it dry fast so that I could paint in layers because paintings are more beautiful in layers so you have your slow drying medium you have a fast drying medium and this painting was the first one I used the fast drying medium another thing you should take note of is that different paints different colors dry at different rates for example the color white takes a lot of time to dry up the color brown dries up very fast so whether or not you're using a fast drying medium the color of the painting will also determine how fast it dries. So let's talk a little bit about the background. Now, on one side of the background is blue. I already had the idea from the beginning, but I didn't know exactly how it would come out. And the other side is red. So, because SpaceX, which is Elon Musk, um, one of Elon Musk's most successful companies, has the blue theme and their vision is to go out or to space to mars and moon so i decided maybe i should draw a moon in the background so i thought of drawing a small moon so that it was a distance or a big moon i felt the big moon would be more catchy and fill up a lot more background space and i felt like if i shifted the moon away from the character it looked like some interacting world well character so i took it behind his head a little bit I wanted a very accurate circle for the moon, so I took a plate and made the shape of the moon. Got the moon from a reference picture online, and I kind of made it glow by putting a white highlight around the moon. Then on the side of the moon, behind Elon Musk, is the Falcon 9 rocket. Well, just a part of the Falcon 9 rocket. Now, Elon Musk is very passionate about rockets and you know how rockets work making rockets cheaper making rockets more commercially viable and that's the genius of Elon Musk because prior to this time every rocket that is sent to outer space by NASA is destroyed the record booster the rocket boosters are destroyed and a lot of money is wasted well, Elon Musk found a way to make reusable rockets. 
so he sends the rocket to space and he brings it back and lands it on earth so falcon 9 this particular rocket is a very special rocket in the elon musk spacex history in the history of space flight period now the other side of the painting is red which um, talks about tesla tesla theme is red you have the model sexy that's the model s model 3 model x and model y it's just a series of cars tesla cars um electric cars and it's very beautiful so i decided to indicate that on the other side and then you have the tesla logo then after doing that i realized that it still looked very plain so in order to fix it i needed to add some more elements to the work so i decided to write a lot now the writings the writings are basquiat inspired if you know the artist basquiat you know he is an incredible artist well he was because he's late now so even the crown the crown on elon's head is also basquiat inspired now basquiat used the crown to signify respect so the crown basically is a symbol of respect when he made his self-portrait he put the crown on himself it's just to say i'm the king i'm the best <laughs> so the quotes also first of all i wanted a busy portrait so i had to write all over it but the quotes we are not just random the first quote says if something is important enough even though all the odds are stacked up against you you should still do it this is one of elon Musk's favorite quotes because every dream he has ever had were impossible if you had if you ask him he'll tell you that he didn't expect tesla the electric cars or spacex the commercially privately owned rocket company to succeed we didn't expect either of them to succeed so elon Musk is a very inspirational person very motivational person and um he's the kind of person that he doesn't quit so he made a lot of failures all over but he kept on persisting so the elon Musk we know and love now and we are like oh he's like the second richest man in the world I already loved him before he started making the money that's the truth so on the other side you have a quote that says a future we can all be excited about that quote is is quote about the vision of SpaceX so Elon Musk's dream for SpaceX is that he wants humans all of us to be a multi-planeted species so he wants us to be able to travel out there into space and you know live among the stars so the vision sounds crazy and childish but it's working it's making his money and it's making it come to pass he recently launched a rocket to space which does that almost every week so basically he's succeeding and he's increasing his net worth and then you have somewhere in the corner of the painting where I wrote Iron Man and then cancelled it and wrote Elon Musk. But that's just a little bit of joke that people say that Elon Musk is the real life Iron Man. So, I mean, he's like a billionaire, genius, philanthropist, engineer. That's Iron Man. So, Iron Man is more or less the fictional adaptation of Elon Musk. Even in a particular Iron Man movie, Elon Musk was featured in it. Just a simple Elon Musk cameo scene. So the moon on the other side, I try to make sure that uh, there is a little bit of reflection of the moon on the hair. So I created some highlights on his hair that looked like the same color of the moon. And then the red side, which is the Tesla logo, created some reflection on his hair too on the other side so basically this was to have was to be a beautifully colored painting and i'm sure i achieved that so if you want to have prints of this artwork and you want to be inspired and motivated by the greatest elon musk well just send me an email 
or hit me up on social media i will make sure to send you the print ball at a very affordable price so thank you very much for this video and uh, this is my first time making a video in this backdrop that is not a speed drawing or speed printing video so i'm very excited about this video and i hope you learned a thing or two from this video please if you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel please do that we really need your subscriptions and share with your friends too so that we can also grow and produce more content for you